Was it built the same year as the South Western in 1910? And like the, that one, it's coming for the 100th anniversary. In this case, it's in mid-summer. That one was actually built about March 1910, so it's going to be released almost on the time of the birthday. This one, we're hoping to have complete in time for our 50th anniversary, and it's time for the birthday in about the beginning of August. So we've got a work cut out of this. That really should hopefully do it. It's as you can see at this end, it's got a raised roof it's so that the guard who sits with his backside at that level can look out over the top of the roof and check the signals. The first one that we saw over there was a bit to the outside for the bucket so he can sit with his back to you and look down the length of the train to check the signals. It's the guard's job to make sure that the, the track that has been set by the signalman is in the right direction and also to make sure that the the, guard, the driver doesn't go through red lights or spads, so he has to be able to see out and see out safely, and that's why, in this case, we have a raised roof. This one is a lavatory brake composite, so it's got four third-class compartments. If you look in, there's a bit around there, a bit of a state at the moment. There's a lot of stuff being stored in there. Basically, from seat back level up, they're, they're complete. Then beyond there, there's a a section where it's got two laboratories and then at the far end we've got two second class compartments. The second class was in fashion in, in, up until about 1920 when the South Eastern chapel got this downgraded from seconds to thirds and then from then onwards the second class only really existed on boat train stocks. Ferry, Channel ferries still have first, second and third class railways here just basically have first and third or something like that. So this one Ran in traffic until about the 1950s, but it was down, well, withdrawn and used by BR for gauging purposes. What that means is we've got a whole series of spikes over that end. In fact, if we go down, there's a photograph in one of the windows showing it in 1955. So we put some spikes over the top, and this second compartment here, they had a generator in, they had a mesh room in here as well. And whenever the engineering department had been working on bridges, tunnels, platforms, etc., or the track department had been out working on the track, this would be brought in to make sure that the clearances from the, the vehicle to the track size structures was great enough. The last thing you want to do is do a bit of track work or build a new platform, then send your track express train down and flip the platform, and not get great lumps out of your carriages and your locomotives. So this would be used for measuring up. But in 1979, they sold it out of traffic to another railway where it sat for 20 years before we bought it. Nowadays, they have a, a wagon which has a laser beam and they just fire a laser out the side and they just use that part with them. But sat for 20 years and came here 10 years ago and we've been working on it ever since. In that time, we've had to put a new, a new roof on it, new floor, new partitions. This end has been completely off. We've got new corner pillar, new bit of timber from here, right the way along the bottom, around the other side. Same, that end, same around the lavatory where water has crowed the bolts which is expanding and just split the timber. That's all we've done there. And then the panelling on here is marine ply. It would initially have been teak, but marine ply is far more stable, it won't split. These are fastened, they're held in place by the mouldings all the way around, and if it's teak, it'll gradually expand and contract and finally split. Hopefully this stuff won't. The panels here have now probably had about 12 to 13 coats of paint on them. They're, this end, they're in their final colour, which is olive green. And we will then put two more top coats on here. This is the first one. Sign right it and line it out, and then put two or three varnishes on. The reason for all these coats of paint is the more you put on, the more protection there is for the timber underneath, and the varnish is there to protect the paint. The fact you can actually put pigments in it and produce a lovely colour down the side of the train is secondary important. But by putting all these coats on and putting them down, you actually get a much deeper, darker shine in it. So that's why we do so many coats, and it's all done by hand. We don't do any spray painting. It's the paint shop down the far end, I'm not going to take them to. Is um, really for hand paint. If we were to spray paint, we'd have to have draft extraction systems in there and breathing apparatus a lot. So that gets very expensive because you have to have it regulated every year. Wooden framework, wooden roof, canvas, it's all very similar to that one. The only slight difference is at the bottom here, 
this last thing, the three eighths of an inch is actually steel. So it sits on a steel plate, and that's where all the strength is. This tip here is only ready to hold for an axe as a receptacle for all the screws holding the steel work in place. And these plates here hold the uprights in place. The first cabs I saw, they actually got tenons on the bottom of the, the timbers which go down into mortises and the timber work here. These just sit on top of the, the timber and held in place by bolts through the steel structure. This one, hopefully in about three, four, maybe five years' time, will be complete. It's quite, this is quite quick to work on. The framework in this is in very good condition, so we don't have to replace very much. Although, if you look through at that compartment on top of it, that bit of timber up there is that high and about that thick. And as you can see, it's impossible to so we will have to replace that bit. But we have sat, uh, we did um, dismantle a similar vehicle a few years ago to save most of the work and we'll be using bits and pieces. £49,500 to basically restore this vehicle in a year for wheelchair access. It's very similar to the one that's running on the North End Boutique set today, the four-wheeler. Both of them were built as Great seconds by the London Chatham and Dover Railway, and this one was about 1890. It ran in traffic for 35 years until 1925 when it sold travel service and became part of a, a bungalow, Apology cottage. And if you look at this, the framework in here is almost complete. There's not much damage to it, unlike that first one we saw where it had to put virtually every at least every vertical was new. This one, we used to still got the original pattern on the side. It's probably because it's only spent 35 years outside, most of it's been monetarily protected within the structure. So, the, pro the idea is it's had three compartments. We're going to use the two at that end as original compartments, and then from the partition which survives there, but this way, it will be for wheelchair access. The vehicle itself has got two doors. This one goes in, I think it's in that one, that one, so wheelchairs can come in there quite easily. This would have been a ducket, you can see the one on that side, if you're at that end, so the guard can look out this way. This one was taken off in domestic service, so we decided, right, we'll just put a, a window in there, take that one off and save that, because we've got another brake van outside, which has got no ducts at all, so we can put that one on the other vehicle in due course. And here, Previous two doors, there's only one the window to the apartment. We're going to take that panel out, the framework out there, and another good window. In. So this end is going to be pretty much like an observation screen. Thank you for being there for the four chair. That's going to be down there. The partition here will stay in and we're going to have a good top of eight seats across this end. We're going to have two and a half compartments worth of seats and probably the jump up seats. This whole area. Yes, it was. 